what, I, what I've come to understand over many years is that, you know, water is the mother of all life. We need to look at water as we would our very best friend. We need to really see it as our beloved. From my observation of what has happened, many years ago, we, we were, you know, lowering buckets down into the well. We were drinking water out of mountain streams and rivers. And you know, this is, this is really, this is why we were much healthier back in those days. My opinion, big part of health problems this day is that we're drinking water that has not been treated by copying nature's way. Okay? So the first mistake we're making in my observation is that we're pumping water into a pump that has blades that's cutting and shredding the water. Well, you wouldn't want that done to yourself. You wouldn't want to do that to your beloved, your very best friend. Second thing is the, the power cord that goes all the way down the well pipe to the pump, that 50, puts out a 50, 60 hertz if you're using AC power, which most people are using. We know now, scientifically know now, one molecule of water carries up to 440,000 bits of information. It has 440,000 individual panels on one molecule of water. And there are six trillion molecules in one drop of water. So water is the most programmable substance on the planet. It is like a computer chip. And it is the most sensitive. So whatever comes around it, it takes in and mirrors. We are not getting enough of this hydrogen, which is the key to hydration. Albert St. Georgie, Nobel Prize winner, said, his statement was, hydrogen is the number one fuel of life. Oxygen is also important. It's its counterpart that ignites the hydrogen in the body, creating energy in the form of ATP, okay? So, we want definitely as much hydrogen and, and oxygen in our bodies as we can get. And another big thing about we, uh, gases and water, that happens when we pump water under straight lines and pressurize, we lose these gases. You know, a mountain spring coming out of the mountain, you're gonna find oxygen, you're gonna find more levels of hydrogen, uh, dissolved carbon. Because as it spins and spirals around these stones and sticks and branches, it's, it's, it's bringing in oxygen, right? It's, it's at, at getting the minerals into the water too because there's some minerals in the sediment of the bottom of the streams. Uh, it's getting these gases imploded into the water and they're imploded, infused through this energy of the vortex or the spiral, which is nature's way of generating and storing energy, okay? These gases are equally as important as the water itself. The vortex or the spiral, we gotta remember this, is nature's way of generating and storing energy. And when water's cold, it even works even better. These gases lock and hold into the water molecule. If the water's warm or hot, it doesn't work nearly as well, it will not hold very long in that water. And this is why we find Water that stays cold, you don't have so much problems with Giardia, Salmonella, E. coli, <clears throat> these other uh, bacteria, Because the water is high in energy. The water at 39.2 degrees can give more energy and receive more energy at that temperature. Okay? And the key is it can hold these gases in the water much longer. So. When we drink water that has been oxygenated and has these healthy gases, it helps to create a healthy microbiome in our stomach, which supports a healthy immune system, which affects everything in our, in our bodies. Uh, the test, many tests that I have done with a device like GDV showing the, energy, the biophoton energy field, that's an aura, also known as the aura around our body, it measures also right and left brain hemisphere, how balanced or out of balance it is. It measures the sympathetic or the parasympathetic body, what state the body's in. And it also measures the energy fields, our major, what is known as the chakra energy fields, how strong the chakra is or how weak it is. It's a $12,000 uh, piece of equipment and 
it's, it's, it's accepted as scientific in some countries. In America, we haven't accepted it as scientific yet. But when you drink full spectrum water, it is phenomenal on what happens with the brain hemispheres going into balance, the biophoton field enhancing tremendously, the chakra systems going into alignment and getting stronger. Also, after these tests that I did with the grandmothers in the water and the things they could see that I couldn't see, I needed more. So I went to a company called BEST, the Bioenergetic Screening Team, which measures people's bioelectric fields. They had a device that you could prick the meridian points in your hands and it would, it would light up on a screen and then it went from zero to 100. And so I went to this place with, with a bottle of the Vortex magnetized water. Same water the grandmothers did the testing with and we found these, they found these amazing results. I couldn't see, I could feel the one, but I couldn't see it, so I needed more. I was more of the practical, oh, uh, if there's something special, I gotta get more science behind this. So when I went to Best, uh, we did a test on me, uh, uh, 12 different tests, how, many, how much heavy metals in my body, if there's any viruses, uh, basic testing my organs, what shape the organs were in. If you hit 50, that's good. That means you're balanced in that area. Well, I only had uh, two or three that were like balanced, like close to balanced, like 48, 47. But I had a high mercury content in my body. I had some issues with my lungs. And because back in those days, I used to smoke. I used to smoke tobacco. So we do the test. She then gets the water and I go to drink the water. And she said, no, just hold it between your legs. She does the exact same 12 tests. After she's done, she looks over at me with her eyes really big. and is like, where did you get this water? And I said, well, I, I, make it, I made it in my garage. I'm not really telling people, but it has to do with vortexing and magnetizing. And she prints out this computer printout. She explains to me that all what just happened. So my before test and my after test, and afterwards, by just holding the water, it brought me within the high 40s in all areas. All areas, even though she's like, this is, you know, this is a part of what I do for a living. I, I find out where people are out of balance and I help them with the different uh, natural herbal remedies and, and frequencies and, and, and the solutions. And, I'm, and she says, and this water just did that. She said, I could have people just pack this water around, helping them to stay into balance, into homeostasis. And she said, can I buy some of this water? Can I buy this? I said, no, I'll give it to you. And then she also mentioned to me um, she showed me this copper ring and she says, you know, this copper ring does some really amazing things with water because she had tested uh, in different areas uh, of her life with different equipment the effects of these copper rings which come from a man named Slim Sperling. So this is when the ring technology came into my world. Three days later, a man named Dr. Flynn called me from bioenergetic screening team and said, would you come in and talk with me? I'd like to have a talk about your test you did with Patricia a few days ago. I said, yes, I will, sure. So I come in, he, he, he takes me in his office and he says, you see that water device over there? I paid like $4,500 for that device. And it filters and structures and energizes the water. But on a percentage scale, he said, it basically takes it energetically from zero to 100 to about a 65. When I tested the water you brought in, he said that water was at about a 75, 80. So he said, I don't know what you're doing, but you're definitely onto something. You're onto something unique and special. I can tell you that. And I said, well, thank you, Flynn. Thank you for sharing that. And he says, uh, I, I measured water similar to this years ago from a man who made it, who brought it to me, and then he died with a secret in his head of how he did it. So at this point, when I left, I knew the universe had brought me something special. I had enough understanding that this is something that's good for people, for better health, better hydration. I just knew it was good. So I filed a patent in 1998. That was the first patent. And on the Vortex Magnetic Energizer. 
I then proceeded over several years to come to, um, to file and be issued several other patents, one for the Gaius Fountain, one for a version I call Artesia, which we will go in later, then another device I call Varuna. I'd like to share a bit about the, the actual significance of some of the things that happen to the physical properties of water when we put water into a centripetal interwinding vortex and we combine magnetic fields and the tensor rings. Uh, and we can combine many other things, but those are the three basic, most important. The, the physical properties that change, a, a person named Dr. Mu Sheik John from Korea discovered when we vortex and magnetize water that the actual covalent bond between the hydrogen and the oxygen, uh, we have two hydrogen and one oxygen that creates a water molecule. And basically that bond angle changes when we vortex water. And, and in this case, they had a type of a blender with magnets on the blender wheel, which is different effect than spiraling water through magnetic fields in a, an array like this. In a designer array, I create with my VME, the smaller unit. So we're changing this covalent bond. And by changing this covalent bond, this is actually quite important. It's important for one reason that it starts actually causing the molecular structure of the water molecules to change. Most water molecules, as he showed, are clumped together like a clump of grapes. When we drink water that has this clumping effect of the molecules, it's, it's, it's not easy to get through the oily lipid substance around our cells and through the cell wall into what is known as the cytoplasm before it gets pumped into what is known as the electron transport chain into the mitochondria. A key thing in producing ATP is getting enough glucose, hydrogen, and water into our cells, thus supporting the production of mitochondria. And we have anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 mitochondria in every cell. We also know through the work of like Dr. Bruce Lipton that the nucleus of a cell is not the brain of a cell. The membrane is the brain of the cell. So it's also known that high vibrational water, highly energized water, water that is electrical, because we are electromagnetic beings and we need electrons to stay high vibe, high charged. How do we get electrons? We get electrons through a live water. Water is spiraling, spinning, doing the dance of life, moving, movement. Movement creates energy. We know when we sit stagnant for just a few days, we like get out of bed and we're lethargic. You sprain an ankle, you lay around for a week, you get up and you're, you're like an old man, even though you're not old. Well, water's no different. Most of us are drinking this stagnant bottled water that has no life force, no elect, low in electrons. So we need electrons. We know this. This is science. We know the, high, the, the importance of the gases and the high level of hydrogen, oxygen, uh, and even the balance of dissolved carbon. These things are really important because gases hold electrical charge too. So when we get drinking a live spinning spiraling water, we're getting the, the electrons from the gases, from the water, and, and the work of Dr. Jerry Tennant, very important work of understanding that we are electrical beings and we need electrons, and how do we get electrons? You know, water is one of them, standing on the earth barefoot, another one how we get electrons, eating raw food, we get electrons, but then there's electron stealers, and this is where many of us have become out of balance. We're eating too much processed food. We're drinking too much dead water. We're not getting hydrated. We're not getting electrons. So we're not getting the voltage up in our bodies. And that's when disease sets in. Disease and illness set in because this corresponds also with pH in the body.